And I'm so glad to have you on the show, especially during these times, because I already know where it's week four in the quarantine. You know, Marissa and I, we're starting to get a bit antsy, right? And mm -hmm. our number one thing, you know, that we're still trying to figure out is what is going to be that new essential item that's going to be required for us when we go traveling once we get out of this pandemic? Yeah, so I think we all can have a great idea. Noticing what's out of stock on the shelf just gives us that indicator. So, so people probably are still going to be fairly afraid. They're going to reach for those like masks and hand sanitizers and wipes. I myself always took antibacterial long before, so that will forever remain an essential item considering the amount of bathrooms I've gone to that don't have stuff. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, especially when you go traveling 24 seven, like yourself. I mean, I, you know, I was had the luxury in like Japan, for example, you know, last year when I went and it just was spectacular um, bathroom facilities. That's all I gotta say. And you know, I, they I'm, have like great little like, uh, what are those badoos? Bidets, bidets. <laughs> yeah, you know, and if you've never tried one of those out, you have to. It's like probably one of the greatest things. And you know, that's a funny point, Marissa. That seems like an essential uh -huh. item that everybody uh -huh. seems to be purchasing uh -huh. because everybody's so worried about, you know, the toilet paper, right? We don't want to hoard toilet paper. So how do we find a new alternative? Just get a boudet and just get a little work <laughs> on. <laughs> Yes, and people in Asia actually already have like a system for that. They have like a spray nozzle on the side of the toilet, so they're already practicing that. I'm like, oh, we might have to kind of like uptake these practices now here in America. That's it's like if we can't find toilet paper, we have no alternative. 